Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful message from the angels. So I'm using the Diana Cooper, Cooper sorry, Angels of Light cards and this is a very cute little deck. So let's see what's going to come through, what your angels want you to know for this up and coming week. I like to give a nice message on a Monday morning from the angels. So you can keep this message with you throughout your week you the strength to keep moving forwards and staying in your truth, trusting that knowing, trusting the love within you. So what's going to come out, please, angels? What is the message for the beautiful soul that is watching? So let's see. They are so cute, these cards. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, a bit stuck. What is the angels want to say to you? Kindness. In order to be kind, you must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion. Be kind to yourself and have reasonable expectations and give yourself due praise. In order to nurture the gentle quality of kindness, cherish yourself. Yeah, as I always say to you guys, when you're kind to yourself, this is benefiting everyone in this world because... You can be you're so kind and compassionate, and understanding to others because you do it. You're feeling good about yourself. You don't struggle with kindness, but you're being asked from your angels to open your heart up to yourself and give yourself compassion. When you do something for for yourself, you automatically extend extend that energy to others. Kindness melts the barriers of ice around people and re-empowers those who are afraid. So reach out to the lonely, draw out the shy and include those who feel isolated and comfort the sad. Your rewards will be a sense of inner peace, warmth and love. Yeah, so it's about being kind to yourself this week and to be kind to others through you being kind to yourself. Wonderful messages. Be gentle with yourself and beauty to see your own beauty. When you see your own beauty, you see the beauty that surrounds you. <laughs> um, the outer world is a reflection of your inner. So focus on the beauty within yourself. Your good, good qualities, your kindness, your gifts and your talents. Remember, whatever you give attention to increases and grows. Everyone has some beauty in their soul, so seek it in others. Remind them of their qualities and you will illuminate them. Surround yourself with the things and people with a beautiful vibration, for we are influenced by that which is around us. As you tune more and more into the incredible wonder of yourself, others and the planet, your resonance becomes that of beauty. Others will perceive the radiance of your soul and be touched by it, yeah. So when you're feeling beautiful, other people, are, you know, they can feel it. They notice it because your whole vibration is different. And the way you're holding yourself, you're holding yourself feeling comfortable, confident, because you're in your power. So find that beauty within yourself. Be kind to yourself this week. And hold these messages with you throughout this week when things creep up, when something comes up. And it's, it's different people that you come across as well. See through to their soul. See the beauty within them. See through the mask that they may be wearing. See through what they're saying. See them for what they really are. And you, you see how things change, how they change as well. And know that everything that is reflected back to you is what's showing you something as well. And it's sometimes that's really hard to swallow because it's like, really? <laughs> do, is, do I really? Is this really what I'm? what's going on within me? Yes, that is the truth. It's very deep and it's very and it's very important to take the responsibility of that. Just having the responsibility changes and shifts that energy. When you are positive, you keep that 
directing a stream of high vibration energy with your thoughts, words and actions. That This affects others and they help you towards purpose. The angels are aware of the power of your positivity and they too support your intentions. You choose your thoughts and attitudes. So focus on loving, abundant, successful outcomes in every area of your life. Your positivity will make you feel happy, healthy and fulfilled, yeah. And we're all capable of having these positive thoughts, putting positivity in it, all the situations, and we can do that. See all situations this week with positivity. Know that you're learning from it. Know that it's all for your highest good. Own it. Put beauty into the situation. See it with beauty. See it through the eyes of love. And give kindness to yourself as well, however it's making you feel. But be positive. Having positive thoughts makes us feel. It, it, it helps us maintain this high vibration, which is radiating out into the universe all the time. So don't allow fear to hold you back. Or don't put fear or um, negativity into your situations because that's what you'll bring more back to yourself and it gets harder and harder to see beauty in it all the situation to be kind so it, it all works <laughs> together this so be kind to yourself see the beauty within yourself see the beauty within others and that's what's around you and be positive have this positive approach Know that everything is always working out for you and that you are so loved and you're you are so significant. Uh, surrender. Whatever you resist in life persists. Ask your angels to help you dissolve all of the resistance of your ego, which is the inner conflict and the struggle, the rigid mindsets and habits, so that they can flood your life with higher truth and joy. When you surrender to the guidance of your higher self, all the energy you have been using in resistance becomes available to you. Vitality, inner peace, harmony and most of all love are your spiritual rewards. So flow with the pace of life, relax and tune in. The flow of the guidance of your intuition knowing that the angels will support you at all times. Yes, yeah, surrender. Don't resist because it'll just come back stronger if there's something you're resisting it'll come back stronger and it'll just get more and more difficult and it be and again that's what surrender is about when we feel uncomfortable we've been pushed to surrender to let go of control and to just let go of this inner conflict and struggle and it is all through the mindset it's, it's through the, the, the thoughts so that's why be observe your thoughts and create positive thoughts Put love into the situation, whatever's going on. Don't just allow the ego to take control. Make friends with your ego and actually say, do you know what, I'm not, I don't need your assistance with this. I've got this. And, and the more you do that, the more easier it becomes. So awareness and surrendering and allowing not to resist. To be very aware of your thoughts, to put positivity into every situation. Make sure your thoughts are positive. Seeing the beauty within you <laughs> and others. Seeing through to their soul of who they truly are and kindness to you. And we can do all those things when we are being kind to ourselves. It just goes on and on and on. <laughs> um, but... We do have to hear these messages and it's so supportive to remember these messages throughout our week as well. So well, thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful message from the angels. I do hope that you are going to keep it with you throughout your week and that you do have a wonderful week. Being kind to yourself, being positive and seeing the beauty within and around you. If you'd like any extra support on your spiritual journey or twin flame journey all the information about the services offer is in the description box down below and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow and i'm sending you so much love my support my strength and light and i love you so very much 
See ya. What's your soul saying? Oh.